And I work in a country in villages where we ha I am everything. I don't have morphine, I don't have Panadol, I have nothing. Gary and I sold our house to go and work in Cambodia full time. Um, I'm Tess, I'm a retired physio. Um, I'm really, really grateful that I found free palliative support to work for after I retired. And I've been um, working with them now for 12 years as a carer and volunteer. And um, it's one of the most satisfying things I've done. Um, Twig Palliative Support and Wedgetail through an invitation by the um, one of the persons who originally began the service and um, she wanted me to come on board as the, a volunteer coordinator and trainer. Uh, more for the training rather than coordinating the volunteers, she wanted someone to get together the training and recruit volunteers and train them up over a period of time and then hand them over to the community so they can start working. I've so. written something that they say all these words, just one side at a time. We're going to embrace your body now with this beautiful sheet we've got for you, or this, this decorated sheet, or this mandala from Nepal. And as we wrap that body, we say thank you for body that served you through life. Uh, my name's Pam. I was diagnosed with cancer in November, which is seven months ago, and it was late stage cancer of the uterus that's metastasized. And I started looking around for things and places that would help me uh, to keep living well and dying well and wedge tail, uh, part of Tweed Palliative Services, um, was mentioned to me and I said, okay, that's where I want to be. So when somebody's lying there dying, I watch what happens. And the next thing that happens is they build a coffin while they're alive beside them. Kids are crawling in and over the dying person. They're just in a bubble. There's nothing I, my field is being with people who have an intellectual disability um, that graduated to being interested in working with old pe older people and I well, had an interest in recording their histories. From that developed um, looking at the issue of people who were at the end of their life and I had contact with Wedgetail when I was looking after my mother. And what brought you? And this is the reason I do it on the floor. The reason I do it on the floor. Hi, my name's Mead. Uh, how I became interested in uh, Wedgetail volunteering is I moved up from Victoria. I was a re working as a registered nurse there. Um, my husband and I just arrived up here and I heard through an old friend who lived here that um, there was a course run running uh, to talk about volunteers working with the hospice and I thought, great. So I just jumped in and did the nine work course. So I'm here to say death is amazing, it's just one breath. You're living and you're dying if you're wasting your life now not living. Abracadabra, <coughs> get on with it, guys. Don't waste a minute.